Hello, my name is Rizal, and today I'll be showing you a relatively new web browser called Komodo Dragon, which has been built by Komodo, the company which develops software to protect your PC from anything harmful. Komodo Dragon is based on Chromium, which is frankly what Google Chrome is. So you'll see a lot of similarities between Chrome and Dragon, with Dragon being built by Komodo. This is a browser designed to keep you free from viruses. Okay, so let's start from the very beginning. There will be a link in the sidebar which will point you towards where you can download the Dragon installer, which is on the official Komodo website. Once downloaded, install Dragon using the very simple setup process. The installation process is relatively simple, and Dragon does have a few interesting features which are built right in. You can very easily import just about anything from any other web browser you have installed on your system. Once installed, you can run Dragon. So from first looks, you can already tell that it's like Chrome, right? The UI is exactly the same, with only the theme being the only real difference. And by the way, you, you can install Google Chrome themes, but they don't look that good because of several bugs. And you can't install Google Chrome extensions at all. This tells me that Dragon is based off of Chromium 3, or in other words, Google Chrome 3. I guess there's not really a lot to show you apart from what it looks like, because if you've tried Chrome, then you're already really going to know everything about Dragon. However, there are a few features that you may want to know. Firstly, there's improved pri privacy. So when you're in incognito mode, you get better privacy. Your cookies and cache won't be left behind. Also, easier easier SSL certificate identification, fast website access, greater stabil stability and less memory bloat. And finally, as I previously said, it's very, very easy to switch browsers right from the installation. I guess that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to email me at pcprokid7 at hotmail.com. And also, make sure you follow me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash pcprokid7. And finally, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's it for now. See you next time, and bye-bye.